The Houthi militia said that they had mounted six attacks on ships with drones and missiles in the last 72 hours in the Gulf of Aden and the Red Sea. Meanwhile, Chairman of the Yemeni Presidential Leadership Council, Rashad Arimi, underlined the readiness of the army, accusing the Houthis of banking on war to achieve their goals. The Houthis said they attacked the ship after identifying it as either U.S. or British, in addition to Pretty Lady ship, which they claim was heading to Israel. The company confirmed that no such incident was reported by the vessel, which is currently safely continuing its normal journey far from the mentioned location. The Houthis have attacked international shipping in the Red Sea since November in what they say is solidarity with Palestinians, drawing U.S. and British retaliatory strikes since last month. The Yemeni government has accused the Houthis of pursuing an Iranian agenda that has nothing to do with defending the Palestinian people in Gaza. It has also been said that the Western strikes will not serve their purpose. It has instead stressed the need to support the government and its capabilities so that it can secure ports and regional waters and reclaim the state from the Houthis. The Houthis' escalating drone and missile campaign against commercial shipping has shocked trade through the vital Suez Canal linking Asia and Europe and forced many ships to take the longer route around Africa. Irani Mid shared an expanded meeting that included officials from the Defense Ministry and senior military leaders. He accused the Houthis of still banking on the war in spite of their terrible failures over the years that have only led to more injustice, violations and suffering.